um, until recently, till I forced myself to get out the house more, I have been the type of person to stay in the same house around the same family members doing the same exact things on a daily basis. Now that can become very miserable, as you can see how that sounds just so bad. But we do that on a daily basis with our jobs, the people we surround ourselves, we go the same route every day to work, we go to the same hangout spots, to the same bars, the same clubs, the same everything. Uh, we create these routines for ourselves, these structures that we must follow, or we come, we become comfortable with because this is our world. We want to create, like we want to be sure of everything we're doing, sure of everything we're living. And the easiest way to do that is to create these routines for ourselves, which way we go to work on a daily basis, what we wear. Um, we only pick so many shirts out the week or, you know, we don't step out of our comfort zone and wear something new or wear something more fancy or downplay it even. Uh, we don't go for what that, that job is that we want outside of our comfort zone. <laughs> maybe maybe we want to work with kids, but all we ever known was to, you know, <laughs> work for you know, freaking 7-Eleven or, you know, cashier jobs, which is nothing wrong with that. But all I'm saying is that the problem with staying the same is that that's all you will ever know is the sameness of every day. And this keeps you, this stunts your growth as an individual, as a human being. We, I believe, uh, were put here on this earth to expand, to grow, to, uh, you know, connect, to to be our greatest version. And we can't necessarily do that when we're doing the same things over and over. This is this is what I relate to even the people who uh, never seek more knowledge. They're, they're just okay with knowing what they know so far and that's it. Like they never read, they never look up other topics, they never wanna learn a new language or they never wanna venture out and meet new people, experience new cultures. And believe me, I was this person for the longest time. And even now when I'm realizing that, I'm struggling to break free and it takes time, but surely, you know, surely enough, I, I am, I am doing it and I will do it. But a lot of people have become so accustomed to, you know, a lot of times, for example, if you live in the hood, all you've ever known is the hood or even the suburbs, all you ever knew is the suburbs. But until we break free of these conditioned norms and step out of side these boxes, um, we will honestly even grow to believe that this is it. And to me, that is the saddest thing that one can ever live is this is it. When there's such a grand big world out there for us to explore and to live and to venture out and see. When we challenge ourselves to venture out and see new worlds, it merges our own with someone else's. Um, it changed our perception of the world and the people around us than what we will, would honestly see on TV, what people tell us. So, for example, we might think certain people are bad, but in reality, until we get to know for ourselves, we won't know until we get out there and venture and explore. But, <laughs> so the problem with the sameness is that we won't ever grow. We won't ever have knowledge outside of the knowledge that we already know. Oh, we can even self-sabotage ourselves by thinking we know everything. I don't need to venture out. I don't need to explore. We'd rather stay bitter or, oh, I'm comfortable here when really we're not. <laughs> um, the problem with this is that you just never grow. And, and our main thing is to grow here on planet Earth, is to expand, is to be an expression of God. And we can't even express ourselves to our best ability if we don't have enough experience, to be honest. Um, if we can't get inspired, we can't really get inspired by the same things that we're around every day. It's kind of like being a flower somewhere with no light. We can't grow. So if we're not nurturing ourselves with knowledge, with exploration, with travels, with meeting new people, with uh, challenging ourselves in new careers, new jobs, uh, challenging ourselves to move to new states, challenging ourselves to do new things in general every day instead of the same bland routines. <laughs> I want to challenge you guys to do something new every single day. And this is for me as well. For me, I want to explore new things, new places, new, new people, new hobbies. And what I want to start doing is seeing new places. Even in your city, let's say you haven't gone to a park before that you've always been interested in going. That can change your whole world doing that one day. Say you have a job that you wanted to do, but you've been scared to do it because all your, your comfort zone is cashiering. But you want to be a server. <laughs> 
for example, try to go after those jobs and see if you can get it. And the whole thing is just to try. That can even just change your whole world in trying and, you know, getting out of sameness. But yeah, the downfall of being the same is just, there's no growth there. There's no expansion. And what we need is that. That is how, you know, we will expand that as human beings. That is how we can contribute and do our part, you know, in this world. But yeah, that is my rant on the problem of being the same. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace.